Today, Da Nang is a peaceful and prosperous city. But 50 years ago, this was the first site of Vietnam for many U.S. soldiers. This is the beach where U.S. combat soldiers first landed in Vietnam in 1965. Ten years later, they left after a defeat that cost 50,000 lives and would haunt the United States for decades. But despite the better memories, many American soldiers are now returning to Vietnam. Chuck and Doc, both former American soldiers, were apprehensive about coming back. But to their surprise, they found themselves welcomed. Doc now visits every year, and Chuck has moved to Vietnam. They're both regular visitors at this school for children with disabilities caused by Agent Orange poisoning. They say they feel an obligation to help. Their ability to learn is, is hampered, I think, you know, to a certain extent. These children are the lucky few. Most don't get the sort of education or specialist care. The impact of the dioxins has affected as many as four million Vietnamese, leading to cancers and terrible birth defects. Mrs. Tay had no idea her son was sick, but by the age of 13, it became apparent something was very wrong. Now 41, he can't do anything for himself and needs 24-hour care. His sister is three years younger. Her symptoms have followed the course of her brother. And she knows when she sees him, she's looking at the fate that awaits her. Their mother wishes the U.S. government would acknowledge the damage Agent Orange has caused and offer some sort of help. I'm old, and day by day I see my son and daughter suffering from the effects. I need them to give us money so I can get someone to help look after them. Now I'm 77 years old and weak, and in the future I can't look after them. That is tragically not a problem Chuck has to worry about. He's seen a number of the children he's worked with suddenly pass away. And she was, I think, 28, 29 years old, vibrant and smiling and laughing and interacting all the time and, you know, enjoying, you know, what semblance of life that she had. But then quickly, you know, in, in a week's time, she was gone. It's not been easy coming back to Vietnam for Chuck but he's dealing with the ghosts of the past. He wishes the U.S. government would do the same. They, they've got an obligation to, to resolve the issues that they caused in Vietnam vis-a-vis uh, -vis, uh, the Agent Orange issue as well as unexploded ordnance. We, the American military, did what you see here. I mean, uh, it's because of us that all of these kids and all of the, the Vietnamese people suffer. Tony Chang, CCTV, Central Vietnam.